the news and the charts indicate Ripple is about to explode. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. You know, I do a five by five and man, you're like, did you just say XRP is about to explode? What the hell is wrong with you, DaVinci? <laughs> Hey, well, the charts say it, and you know, a little bit of fundamental analysis is saying it. So we have to accept what, what is now I have a say, you don't hate it. Don't date it. Just trade it. Right. So you can do that with XRP and I'm going to show you why in today's episode. And we're going to be doing a little bit of TA about XRP in today's episode, along with Bitcoin and Ethereum. And so uh, make sure you stay tuned for that as well. But first, we're going to go into the news. And if you're interested in trading, you can head over to bybit.davinciej15.com, okx.davinciej15.com. Links are in the description below. So let's uh, get on with the news. Okay. Ripple CEO announces compliance first strategy. Okay. Uh, Ripple's re regulatory milestones in 2023 has been a landmark uh, year for Ripple. Yes, because, you know, they uh, won their lawsuit against the SEC as highlighted by the company's general counsel, uh, Stuart, on X. The, the year saw Ripple achieve several regulatory milestones, including approval from the Central Bank of Ireland as a registered virtual assets service provider. This achievement follows Ripple's uh, receipt of a full major payment institutional license from a monetary authority of Singapore and the Dubai Financial Services Authority's approval for of XRP for use by licensed institutions within the Dubai International Financial Center. Okay, so there's a lot of positive things about XRP and we're going to be talking about doing going over the charts. People w will buy it. It will do well because when you have money printers right? Looking at closely at what their options are and they go, okay, well, you know, people are liking this XRP thing and it could do everything I want it to do. Maybe we should support that. So that's, that's the reality of the situation. XRP is basically you agreeing to have a cryptocurrency that does the same thing as the USD. <laughs> Great. Perfect. I mean, you might as well just use a carbon copy of the current system. Just say, okay, well, why would we need XRP in the first place? We just have our, our, our crappy system right now. It's still digital. That's true. <laughs> it's the same thing. Um, while Bitcoin statement about BTC ETF by Anthony Papliano follows BTC's rise close to $43,000. Yes. Last night we talked. Well, I was at the Moon Show and and Bitcoin went over forty four actually thousand uh, dollars and uh, yeah that was an indication that hey as I said in yesterday's video that you know we're gonna go higher but anyways the key thing is that Anthony Pompliano thinks believes that the 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 fact that we're gonna have a new ETF doesn't mean we're gonna pump to one x two x's with Bitcoin. And that's it. And, and that's, that's a possibility because they're not going to want to do that, right? Both institutional investors are not going to want to go, I'm just going to hit the buy button and let the price go up. No, they don't work that way. Uh, they're going to either buy um, hedges, right, on the, the futures exchange and swap them to the spot. Stupid. Like, come on. And so since they're going to swap them, right? They're going to realize that, wait a second, in order for us to, 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 to uh, swap them, we better have some, some Bitcoin in that ETF so that we can give them an OTC price. <sighs> Let's go on to the TA for today. Let's start off with actually Ripple. We can see the Ripple as slowly moving up. We had some little bit of pumps here, but as we can see that we're going to probably see this manipulative pump coming again soon for XRP. Most likely when it gets closer to this uh, trend upward trend line, there's going to be a massive pump. Boom. 
let's take a look at where this thing can go. Yes, you can see that we can head up to $1.33 pretty fast and blow past this top, this, this, the, the local top of almost a dollar here. And probably come back and, and hold that level, the dollar level, for quite some time. So um, I'm looking for that to happen with XRP in a flash, basically. Um, so uh, look out for that because that's how they work. They call up the Federal Reserve. Hey, help a brother out. <laughs> and then they go, and then they call up the market meter. Here's some cash. Pump this thing. And that's how it works. Okay. Um, you see it every single time in their markets. Uh, they are the only chart that looks like this, where all of a sudden, out of fracking nowhere, they pump. Out of nowhere. So don't tell me that's not manipulation. You are smoking weed if you don't think so. All right. With that said, right, you could say, well, Bitcoin pumps out of nowhere sometimes too. Uh, yeah on the four hour or on the <laughs> five minute chart and it doesn't go that far right it doesn't go 20 percent, 30 percent in five in the five minute chart no five percent right maximum maybe maybe anyways so let's uh continue um with uh bitcoin you can see the bitcoin as i, I told you this was the, the line in the sand um, if we broke above the, um, the 43,500, I think 43,500 ish area or the yellow one, which is the 43,700 ish, that was an indication that we can break higher, uh, going further. Uh, Bitcoin is tr trying to hold the, that, that level of support now doing a weak job of it. Um, if it does hold it and, and, uh, continues higher, we're going to see it target well above $47,200 level is where it targets if it can hold above that support level of 43,700 actually. Okay, looking at Ethereum quickly, uh, Ethereum is telling us, no, things are not as rosy as you like it to be. It, yes, we broke up um, and then um, we broke out above um, a level that probably would have indicated um, us going all the way and breaking into this uh, level, which is the $23.34 level, which would indicate a higher move. But we didn't do that, which is kind of strange. We actually reversed back to to its support level that it's trying to hold, one of the two support levels here, which is the, um, the 21.66 and the 21.38. And this does not look bullish at all at all i have to wonder if this is going to take down bitcoin along with ethereum in the next little while but everything's indicating on bitcoin that we're going to have a santa claus rally and we're going to go higher for christmas and then before we see any kind of lower prices on bitcoin so i don't know i don't know well which one to 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 believe bitcoin or ethereum all right with that said that's it for today I really think that the uh, XRP sh it should be traded. Um, if you're interested in trading that, you could do so at bybit.davincj15.com so you can make some money because there's a clear indication. The only problem is that it will be explosive move and you won't be able to like, oh, well, I will just, you know, buy this here and, um, you know, uh, uh, have, have some sort of stop loss, clear stop loss that's going to let you um, let you ride that win because of the manipulation. It's really difficult. It won't draw out any kind of pattern on the lower time frame. So that's just the way it is. But anyways, if you like that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.